everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today, we're going to take a look at something Santa delivered. Well, Amazon. It's the Higer, 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 HG816. It's the six in one aquarium cleaning kit. This was sent to me by Higer. They reached out on social media and said, would I take a look at it? And I'm happy to do so. Not been paid, not been influenced in any way to give you any opinion other than my own. So let's dive right in and open it up. Interested to know what the six things are that we're going to use. So Higer, uh, a brand I first noticed two or three years ago, they've come out with a few good products, um, lights and things like that. I think I've used one of their heaters, I think I've used one of their siphons, the pumpy up siphony thing, uh, and been perfectly happy with it. So happy to look at this as well. So we'll get it all unpacked and have a proper look at what we've got here. We've got some contraptions with lots of attachments. Ooh, razor blade. Billied. Gravel scoop. Net. Oh, I like this idea. It's the a corner sponge for getting into the corners of your aquarium. Pipe cleaner. And flat sponge. Uh, Allen key and springy thing. Right, so this is a kit that's suitable for both glass and acrylic. A fairly soft sponge, so we like that. But some key components that you don't normally get in aquarium cleaning kits. This could be invaluable. So if you use a canister filter or something like that, this will scrub out your pipes, which is an awful job that you have to do when you have to do that one. That will make that much easier. But basically, an extendable pole, if you like, uh, with different attachments. So it's a universal pole. And whether it's a fishnet, they all just kind of click in. It's a spring-loaded system, so it locks in place. Really happy with that. Feels quite premium. Gravel scoop. Again, everything's spring-loaded and locking, so it's not going to come apart easily. Push it together, twist and unlock. Algae scraper with the razor blade, so I'll try and do that carefully. But I'm really, it's got, it's got a premium feel for the actual twist and click. So I like that. It's a nice, I don't want to bend it too much, but I'm putting in quite a bit of pressure there and it's very sturdy. So I like the idea of that. I like the fact that it comes with this right angle cleaner, but it's also articulating. Quite often when you get the big long poles, you really end up in some awkward situations trying to get it where you want it to go. But this should take care of that quite nicely. And everything feels really solid. The hinges in it are good. Obviously this is new, so I don't know how long it'll last, but compared to some other comparably priced products, super impressed so far. So this is the handle for it, which is obviously, it, well, not obviously, but it is extendable. So depending on whether you have a, a deep or a shallow fish tank, that should suit your needs. Simple twist operation to extend it and then lock it again. So really solid piece of equipment. And I love the fact that you just have to twist and lock and that's in there. That's in there proper good. So often with things with detachable or interchangeable heads, it's a proper faff. But no, nope, so far so good. I like this. So what we're going to do is try this out on the aquarium behind me there because it's in need of a little bit of a clean. This is the aquarium we're going to tackle today with the Higer 6-in-1 kit. Um, it is in need of a bit of maintenance. It's not been touched for a couple of weeks. I'll pretend I did that just so as I could test the kit, but no, I've just been a bit busy and neglected it somewhat. So there is some algae over and around. Um, so we'll get an old test it. Before I do that, did you know that two thirds of the people who watch these videos aren't subscribed? So please, if you are into this kind of thing, if you keep aquariums, you want these kind of hints and tips as well as other aquatic content, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Anyway, let's dive in and see if we can get this nice and sparkly. Sparkly. So first off, I'm going to start with the scraper tool, which is basically um, a razor blade, which looks like it is replaceable because there are a couple of screws there. Comes with a cover as well, so you can keep it safe when you're not using it. And like all the other bits, just easy attach and detach. So there's a nice bit of algae here. Let's give it a go. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. Easy. To be fair, most razor blade ones are really good for this type of algae on the glass for cleaning it up really easily. But the nice handle makes it a pleasure to work with. And then, there you go, a few seconds, we've got that nice, nice and clear. This is a bit grotty, I wish I had done a little bit more maintenance on this before this. But you know, things we'll do for reviews. So that's the glass. In the corner here, I'm always a bit hesitant using these type of scrapers and corners because you can cut into the silicon. So we'll switch to the sponge one here. But these razor blade ones, these are great for the kind of stubborn algae on glass. But let's switch this over. And I'll put the, the right angled one on. Ready to go. And again, this moves so we can get it in there easy enough. So this is proving good enough to get into the corners, but it isn't actually getting right into the corners because I need to put in quite a bit of pressure. And then when I put too much pressure on it, obviously it bends. So I think this is good for some less stubborn stuff. But it's not quite doing the job there. Thankfully, we have another one. So what would normally be for the, what, the pipe cleaner, I think that'll also do a fantastic job at getting in for the more stubborn stuff. And it does. So that's got that perfectly, got nice clean lines down that center column. Happy. What I can also use this for is if you can see some of the algae on the rocks. I don't know if you can see that, but let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. So as you can see, there's a little bit of green algae on these rocks also gets it off that super easy really light touch job done something that's really hard to clean is like here because this is directly under the light it gets quite a lot here you can't really use a sponge or a scraper on that but if I just lightly run over it straight off. So happy with that. And so this rock here for instance has got quite a few or quite bad diatoms on it. You can see the discoloration but just a quick scrub with this. Cleans that right up. So look at the difference there. Fantastic. If anything, I wish this was right angled because that would help me get this one really clean. But look how well it's done already with just that little bit of effort and pressure. I'm not having to scrub particularly hard here. And it's taken that all off lovely. So that one is really versatile. That I've not even used it for actual pipes, but it's done a great job. And I said that I wish this was right angled. What you can do is just bend it because it is literally a pipe cleaner. So you can bend it to suit your needs. I'm going to try the sponge now because that will get into the side glass. Again, this is articulating just like the right angled one. That does a great job as well. No complaints here. I'll try this side as well. Just give it a good... It really is just... a different option and obviously really useful if you've got an acrylic aquarium rather than glass and you're a bit worried about using the razor blade 
you can use razor blades on acrylic aquariums but you do run a risk so obviously all this cleaning is kicking up a load of gunk everywhere and that will get picked up with the filter and then I can clean the filter afterwards and then for the sand bed I'm going to try this little gravel scoop this is just run it through if I did have some big fish this would be great for picking up poop but for in this case where you can see the sand bed is covered in a little bit of the algae I can break that up so as it gets picked up and if I do find any objectionable pieces I can pick it up with the scoop and pick it out or uproot my plants whatever works <laughs> it's be good for aquascaping as well because you could use this to just move things into the right position build up mounds that kind of thing And again, comb through your plants, get any of those last bits of green algae off without having to get your hands in the aquarium. That works really well, actually. So, I've not used the net because I don't want to get any of the fish out, but the net does look like it's good quality as well. It's a nice soft net, so that's always good. Again, plastic sort of float. So, final thoughts are, this is a really well thought out versatile kit there's nothing that I'm missing I'm not thinking well if only I had a, it's got everything it's got the, the scraper and the pipe cleaner pieces are probably the bits that I would use the most and use on most tanks because they will do most jobs on their own but it's good to have all the extra attachments as well the sponges were really good the corner sponge meh it's the only bit that didn't really work as I expected it to work but would still be good on a, an acrylic tank where you don't have any other option but to get that in there um, I like the fact that they've all got this push, twist, change, easy to do, don't have to worry about it, keep it all together. Well thought out, like I say, with the exchangeable, retractable, exchangeable and retractable, that's not what I wanted to say. Well thought out with the changeable blades, but to be honest, these things last forever anyway, and it comes with a nice cover, so you don't slash anything up. Obviously a bit cloudy, but we'll give it a little while and I'll show you the final results. But I'm really happy with this. Amazon, about £20 at the moment, I think. Um, I'll put a link in the description if you want to buy that. It will be an affiliate link, so I might get a penny if you buy one off it. You can't go wrong with that for 20 quid. A kit that's got everything, it will last, it's well made. Really happy with it. Good job. Oh,